Well, hello. Oh. Good afternoon. It's uh, December 27th, 2020. And I'm at Jubits doing the laundry. It's about 2 almost in the afternoon. And it's 38 degrees and sunny. Uh, I'm making this video just to catch up on a lot of things. And just put it out there. And you may or may not see this on Facebook. I've been kicked off of Facebook. Uh, I had a, a couple of accounts that have been completely deleted and the uh, Christopher Canary account is still on but it's on restriction until the end of January almost. Now at that point I'm fully expecting that when I log back on because it's in and the restriction has ended I'll probably have about 30 seconds to a minute and they'll probably slap me with another one. Like I said, they've deleted a bunch of my accounts and I think they're just trying to get that one gone too. I've had that since 2012 or 2011. It was the first account I had. Is the, is the same one, the Christopher Canary. Um, they're really cracking down at Facebook. They've become super conservative, very, very pro-Trump, very pro-Christian. And you can't say a bad thing about any of those things anymore. Uh, they don't like the word motherfucker. They don't like you use the word whore. It's bullying if you say that. I guess you, you know white trash. You can't you can't say white trash. You get three days. Um, so be very careful on Facebook what you post. I'm being very careful about what I'm saying about it right here on this video because I could go off. Believe me. Uh, ravioli and viola are gone because they they put it on a restriction until it, they can pr provide. Uh, photo ID a Fucking break Anyways, so Facebook restrictions um, Royce Reed is someone you might want to friend request Just saying um, Christmas was nice. We had a beautiful Cornish hens sweet potatoes raisin and cranberry stuff pies and whipped cream mashed potatoes and gravy and peas and a few other things just quite scrump and very low key we exchanged our little gifts and little things that we wanted or needed but nothing major uh, Peter got a nice ring for Christmas he bought for himself from me supposedly but I'll let him say that. Um, it's really a nice ring. I can't wear jewelry anymore, otherwise we would have bought a set. Um, cigarettes are going up $2 next week, and that's going to be it for me. As many times have I said I'm quitting, this is it. I cannot spend $10 for a fucking pack of cigarettes. Uh, they're over $7 now. When they were going up to seven, I said I would never spend seven dollars for a pack. And back in the beginning, when they went up to seven, I did spend like seven oh two or seven seven oh seven. I think I spent once in tax and stuff. But I always got them at the discount store, so I've never really paid more than seven dollars, except for those one maybe three times. But ten dollars or nine something, I can't. I just cannot do it. So. Um, Aside from being opposed to it, I voted for the tax, by the way. I did. Uh, as part of an incentive to help me quit smoking. But um, now the time has come. The, the law was passed. So I, I'm personally opposed to spending that much money for a pack of cigarettes, for one. But also, I cannot afford it. And just, like, be honest. You can't afford it. Do $10 a day, and what do you get at the end of the month? 300 bucks out the window and blown up in smoke cannot justify it just can't and this is going to be fucking murder because I have smoked my whole life even before you know being born my mother smoked during pregnancy she nursed me with nicotine milk she held me in her arms and nursed me and puffed away in my face practically with cigarettes I remember the smell of cigarette smoke hanging in the air from 
you know, October to March when they closed the windows in the apartment and that was it. All went along, you could breathing cigarette smoke. Um, I've smoked my whole life, so this is going to be very, very difficult. And you'll have to bear with me because I might go crazy a couple times. I do have the patches, but they don't help that much. But I had to, I got to do it. I, I have to do it. That's it. So be prepared. Be forewarned. January 1st, I will be smoke-free. I probably should quit smoking weed, too, at the same time for a while, because when I smoke pot, I, I just want to chain smoke cigarettes, so <laughs> can't win. And I'm not going back to drinking. I, <laughs> I haven't drank what now in, oh my god, probably about eight years. Eight or nine years I haven't drank. And uh, I don't have an anniversary date because I didn't do it that way. I just, it's, it, it was over. I was done with it. And since then, I know I've, we've gone out a couple times. I've had a pitcher of beer here. I, I had a few beers with my friends in New York. Um, I've bought, I would say probably in the past nine years, I might have bought altogether, you know, a piece at a time, maybe a case of beer. I really, I just don't drink anymore. I really don't. I, I don't even like to, t the, I don't like being drunk. I just hate the feeling. You know, and this is coming from someone who spent a 30 year career of being an absolute 24 7 knockdown, blackout drunk, an old alky, a functioning drunk. And I did it, but, to, you know, I wish I had all that money back. But, anyways, okay, so that's that. January 1st, smoke free. Um, you know, we've got four cats that are coming and going out of our house, and I could really. Uh, I would love to find a house, uh, a home for at least two of them. I cannot have four cats in the house. We have one room, and these are outdoor cats that need a bath. They're, they're nice cats. They're affectionate. They, for the most part, they're they're clean, but they stink from being outside and living underneath RVs and trailers for all their lives. So they they really need a bath. They smell, but they're they're really nice cats. Uh, I'd like to find a home for at least two of them. Anyone. Um, what else? So we've got Christmas, we've got smoking, we've got Facebook. Um, I know I look like shit. I'll go home and make myself as P-R-E-T-T-Y as humanly possible. I'll, I'll take a shower and shave, don't worry. Um... I really need a part-time job, but I don't know what to do. The pot jobs that I got the uh, handler's card for, uh, they were abundant before I got the card, and now they're very few and far between, and they're way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere. Um, even though a lot of the, the, the weed locally and you know grown here and in the other California and Washington, a lot of it is still good. A lot of it was damaged, and it, it just they wiped out a lot of crops. You can't smoke it. It's just poison because of being in the smoke of the wildfires, and, you know, which includes as houses and cars and trucks burning and gas stations exploding. So you don't want to smoke that. So the, the, the demand for trimmers has really cut drastically, and I haven't seen anything locally. Um, as far as doing hair goes, I guess that says it all about that. I just, I could do it. I can do it. I know how to do it, but I really don't want to. It, it COVID, basically. I, I just, I'm not going to put my life at risk for some asshole that comes in waving a fucking seven ninety nine coupon. My life is worth more than that. It's a fucking slap in the face to every stylist that has to take a coupon. It's just a slap in the face. Every time you come in with a coupon, it tells me you have 45 years worth of experience and the hundreds of dollars that you've spent in, in uh, licensing, thousands, a couple of thousands, plus the cost of your school, plus the cost of your equipment, you're worth $7.99. Fuck you and your coupons. So I just can't do it. I just can't. Um, 
but COVID, I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't justify standing there, touching people, and breathing through a fucking mask all day while they're doing the same, and the difficulty of working with a customer wearing a mask, hair flying all in it. It's like, ugh, gross. No, can't do it. Okay, so that's that. Point was made. Um, oh yeah, and on Facebook again also. Uh, I'm deleting any friends that I have on my Christopher Canary account that I do not know personally or who are not the friend of specific friends they're getting deleted you know it's like people that I don't interact with people I don't know anyone I just don't because I don't know if if you know who they are I just don't know who they are and if I don't interact with you then there's no sense of you being on my friends list because I'm not a numbers whore I don't care if I have two friends. I don't care if I have zero friends on Facebook. You know, um, in real life, it's a different story, of course. But if I don't know you, or if you're not the friend of specific friends who I know in person, I'm going to have to delete you. I think that some people have been uh, complaining to Facebook about my posts that are on my friends list. There are people that I know from way back who are friends with people that I know from way back, but I'm not friends with them on Facebook. Actually, you know, they, they don't like me and I don't like them. And if I post something that that friend can see, is a possibility. I think their friends can see it too and they might report it. A lot of them are staunch Trumpsters. And, you know, that's where the problem lies half the time. So, I'm going to have to, I don't know what to do with that because there's some friends that I would like to still share posts with but I don't want their friends to see it. I have to change the settings on my thing, I guess. No more friends of friends. Some of them were people that I that I was actually friends with on Facebook but when I saw what was going on with them politically and socially, I unfriended them. Uh, a few of them I had fights with and a couple of them I've actually blocked and then unblocked later because it's like, what the fuck, you know? If I have to go through the trouble of blocking someone, then it's out of, you know, it's inconvenient for me to have to do that. They win. So I just unblocked them. If they, they get offended, fuck them. But uh, I still think that some of them might have caused some problems for me on Facebook. I'm not trying to be paranoid. Um, I'm in the smart car. I still have not been able to get this car serviced. Uh... I need to get an oil change and an air filter. I might end up having to do it myself by looking at some tutorials. At least the air filter. The oil change, I wouldn't do that myself. It's a mess. Um, but I really need to get this car serviced. And with, with COVID, uh, they're not doing a lot of these this type of work. It's like emergency work or accident work they're doing. Uh, some warranty work they're doing. But I don't know if this falls into it because it's maintenance, but it may not be repair of warranty. I, I'm, I'm just not clear on it. I, I'm, I'm confused, and I'll be the first to say it. I, um, I, don't, I don't know. A lot of that stuff just goes over my head today. I used to be so sharp and so on, on point with details and reading the fine print and, you know, dotting the I's and crossing the T's. I was very specific and very knowledgeable about what I was doing. And these days, ever since my surgery, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I, uh, you know, I basically glanced over the paperwork when I bought the car, said, yeah, 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 uh -huh, quite a bit, and signed my name, and that was it. So, it gets you into a lot of trouble if you do that. But anyways, I've got to get the car serviced. And being a smart car, it's a specific type of uh place you can take it to because the engine is not like a regular car engine this is like I said before it's a Mercedes engine the transmission is based on a uh, Lamborghini it's a Lamborghini transmission but it's specifically for these cars um, and half the engines in the front and half the, half the engines in the back so <laughs> it has to go to specific smart car repairs but anyways that's about it. My clothes are tumbling. I think I need to get in there and start taking them out and folding. I've been here long enough. I'm ready to go. And, uh,
anything else I'll come back and post it but I wanted to just get this all you know up and get caught up on a number of different subjects and I'm gonna put this on YouTube and then I can share this on Facebook but I can't post it on Facebook myself I can share it on as like someone else on one of the other accounts but Christopher Canary won't be able to post this but I it can be posted on Christopher Canary's page smart asses and that's the other thing too when you're blocked on Facebook messaging still works I can message you um, I just don't understand anyways but I'll see you on Facebook at the end of January maybe I, I really do I suspect that when I go back on they're going to just kill the account be vindictive you bastards whoever works for Facebook now is not doing the company any favors they're going to lose a lot of people. Not that they care. Um, but there's got to be another social uh, media outlet out there like MySpace used to be. Now, if they were smart, they'd go back to their old format. Definitely. MySpace was cool. You could you'd make animations and you could use you know GIFs and add photos. and you could. It was a lot cleaner. It, it, there was less bullshit all over this all over the screen I wish my space would come back that was fun not fun but you know what I mean it was keen it was peachy oh, you? well anyway <laughs> anyway it's time to go uh, fold laundry love you mean it